Hey friends, it's Hope and today I am here to do my October wrap up and my November TBR. I read four books in the month of October which has been really great for me uh, because the last couple of months I've only been reading one or two so I'm slowly getting out of that reading slump. But yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. The first book that I read in the month of October was Illumine and I ended up reading this book a four out of five stars. When it comes to the complete book from like beginning to end, how it was formatted, the dialogue, the characters, the concept, like every single thing about this book and definitely deserved a five star rating just for my personal preference because I'm absolutely like not over the moon about sci-fi books and sci-fi reads. That's why I lowered it down to a four stars. This actually ended up winning my best in books for the month of October and I will link that video down below in the description box if you guys want to check that out. But I absolutely adored this book. I freaking love loved the characters and you guys probably know so much about Illuminae because it's been all over booktube but if not I am going to leave all the links to the Goodreads pages for these books down below in the description box for you guys. The second book that I read in the month of October was Swear on This Life by Renee Carlino. I also rated this book a four out of five stars. I really adored this book. I did a non-spoiler book review that will also be linked down below in the description box. I had read before we were strangers by her and really loved it and so I was really anticipating and excited to get my hands on her newest book. Definitely check out my review for more of my thoughts and what this book was about but I'm just gonna leave it at that friends. It was really good. If you like new adult contemporary romance books, check this one out. I then decided to buddy read Poison Princess by Cressley Cole with my girlfriends Danielle and Blair. We all work together and we all love to read and we picked this book up and we had kind of spaced it or planned it out to read like 10 chapters every day but once we got our hands on this book it just didn't happen like that. We all read it way quicker than what we originally planned, which was okay. Um, a really great thing about this book is it has an amazing and unique concept. The characters in this book embody tarot cards, which I've never seen before, never read a book, anything like that. So it was really refreshing. The characters were great as well. I'm currently reading the second book and the cast of characters just keep growing and I'm absolutely adoring it. It also takes place in the Louisiana. Cassidy over at Cassidy Von Shea and Jordan from the Jordan Journals both equally love this series. It's not talked about a lot on booktube but it is a part of the Arcana Chronicles. This of course is book one. I rated it a four out of five stars as well. And the last book that I read in the month of October was a bit of a disappointment for me. It was Sweet Thing by Renee Carlino because I absolutely adored Swear on This Life. I wanted to get my hands on another Renee Carlino book. For me, this one just wasn't my cup of tea. It follows a girl named Mia who is an Ivy League graduate. She really is trying to figure out what life is going to hold for her after she has graduated from her Ivy League school and her father dies and she's kind of put in this position to try and figure out does she run her father's business or does she become a musician and kind of live that free spirit musician life. And of course with any new adult contemporary romance book you have to throw a boy into the mixture of things. Right off from the bat she meets a guy named Will who pretty much embodies everything that she wants for herself as a musician. For me I felt like through the majority of this read her and Will's relationship wasn't very believable. He definitely seemed more of like a friend without any romantic interest for the longest time and then by the time it got there I just wasn't buying into it and for that reason I just didn't enjoy it all too much. I do believe there are a couple more books to the series. I will not be reading it but I did end up reading this book a two out of five stars. All right friends now for my November TBR. For my Goodreads challenge I put it to 100 books because the last two years I have completed that and exceeded that so of course I was just like okay I'm I'm going to now set my Goodreads challenge for more than just 50 books because that's what it had been in the past. I'm going to up it up to 100 and now I'm on the struggle train and I am 31 books behind schedule like it's real bad. So I'm going to have to read like 15 books 
in the month of November and December. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm gonna try and do it because this girl loves a challenge. So for that reason, I am not going to be listing off 15 books that I plan on reading in November. That would be completely unrealistic and I'm just going to be doing a lot of mood reading, but two books that I do know that I want to finish is Endless Night by Cressley Cole. This is the second book in the Arcana Chronicles. I am doing a loosely worded buddy read with Danielle and Blair once again, even though Danielle has already finished it because she is a bad buddy reader and she finished it within like 24 hours. And my friend Blair, who's pretty much to the end as well, and here I am on chapter eight. So, you know, sometimes life happens, but I wanna continue on with this series, so I definitely am going to be finishing Endless Night. And then last month I did start The Girl With All The Gifts by M.R. Carey. I didn't get too far, but I still want to give it another go and see if I can finish this as well. I also decided to help me complete the 15 books for this month. I'm going to be listening to some audiobooks. So I picked up P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han, which is the second book in maybe this duology trilogy. This also has been nominated and voted on by you all in the YA Booktube Awards that I will be a judge of in the month of January. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, have no fear. All that information will be down below. So I am currently listening to P.S. I Still Love You. I am on chapter six, I believe. I'm enjoying it but it seems super juvenile. I know it's YA, but I feel like to all the boys I loved before, it didn't feel as juvenile as this one does. I don't know, but that's just how I'm feeling right now. I will say though that I really adore the relationship between the sisters right now. I think it's absolutely precious and it makes me miss my sisters, but I digress. Uh, the second audiobook that I'm going to be listening to is The Savage Song by V Schwab or Victoria Schwab. And I wanna say that this book has to do with monsters, but I kind of want to go into it a little bit blind, so I haven't done much research. So I'm going into it with a blank mind, which sometimes that could be good, sometimes it could be bad. But yeah, so those are four books that I plan on reading for the month. I have about 11 more to choose from, so I need your guys' help. If you guys have any recommendations of books that are really easy reads and reads that you guys think that I would love, please let me know down below in the comments. I need your guys' help to help me complete my Goodreads reading goal. But that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'm sure I will see you soon. Bye.